Welcome to episode 13 of PVTV, where we answer your solar questions. Today's solar question comes from Kerry Dixon, uh, who asks, what would you recommend for the Ballarat region being a, cold, being a bit colder and it snows sometimes? So for those of you across the universe, Ballarat is a town in Victoria, Australia. Yep. And Ross, snow is a form of shade. Shade. Yeah. So Kerry, the question, I think the real question is, um, if you have a form of shade, be it dust, snow, leaves, birds, trees, trees, then this is the question for you. So, Ross, what effect does shade have on a solar system? Well, shading has quite an impact on, on solar systems, mm. quite a negative impact. And the reason is because when solar systems are wired up, the way they're uh, installed mm. is they're done in banks. Mm -hmm. So if you install, say, example, 20 panels, you mm -hmm. might have two banks of 10, which is a pretty general setup. Mm -hmm. um, now, the drawback of that is if one panel in that bank is shaded, mm -hmm. it'll actually bring the production down of the whole bank to close to what that panel is, is producing, the panel is shaded. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So in a regular solar system, if we've got 10 panels in a row, you're saying we partly shade one of those panels, all the panels are going to drop massively in their efficiency um, to match the solar panel that's doing the worst in the row of 10. Yeah, their output, yeah. Yeah, so shade will have a, a really, really big effect on solar, even a smaller amount of shade or bird droppings and things like that, snow, uh, leaves can have a big effect on solar. There are two ways to combat this in your solar system to make sure your solar production is not affected if you're somebody who has shade. Mm -hmm. um, what are the two ways, Ross? What's the first way? First way is by... Panels, by solar panels, different types of panels. So some panels are shade resistant, we'll call them. Yeah, we'll call them shade resistant yeah. panels. And the way they're electrically designed is to make sure that shade has a less um, effect and doesn't affect the panel as a whole as yeah. much as a non-shade resistant panel. And I mean, we've got some behind us. Do you want to quickly maybe run us through yeah. really quickly what the difference is between say this panel and, and this panel here? Yeah, cool. Yeah. So th this is a sun power panel here in an LG. So these look different. They don't have lines in them, you'll notice. Yes, that's a, that's a good pickup yeah. because we'll call these the shade resistant ones and this is a non-shade resistant. And just the way the electrici electricity f flows through these panels um, is, is what makes all the difference. So in this one here, I'll say, let's say it starts at the start here. It just works its way down, back up, and down, back up. So it's like a snake. Sort of like a, a snake. A power snake. And that will travel through the bank of 10 panels. Yeah, exactly. If you've got 10. And if you cut the snake off anywhere along the line, yep. The whole snake almost dies. Yeah, the if power you cut snake. The snake off here. Yeah. It actually cuts out all the going downs and ups. Very bad for your solar system. Yeah. Whereas these panels here, they've just got straight lines of power going all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom. Yeah. So connections on the top yep. and the bottom. So instead of having one big snake through all the ten, you've got multiple snakes Ten per panel. Like that. Yeah. So if you cut one, yeah. If you cut one, so if you cut one. The other lines of the panel still work. Exactly. And so they're shade resistant to that level. Exactly. Now that technology can be quite a bit more expensive. It's new it's newish technology. Newish technology. Um, and it can Oof. be a little bit more expensive, yeah. Quite yeah. a bit. So. And what's the second way to fight shade rust? So first is shade resistant panels, two is through the inverter. The inverter. So, which is So this is an inverter. That's an inverter. That's an inverter. It's sort of not an inverter. It's an optimizer. <laughs> this is a DC optimizer yeah. made by Solar Edge. And what this unit basically does, it sticks on the back of each and every panel you've got on the roof. Mm -hmm. So to go back to our example of 10 panels in a bank, you'd have 10 of these. And it makes it like 10 individual banks. And it makes it like 10 individual banks. So each one operates um, individually. And if one gets shaded, it doesn't matter how much shade it gets, mm -hmm. the rest will still perform um, at their maximum output. Fantastic. So in a normal situation, one in 10 panels gets shaded, They'll all come down in a, in production massively. If you give give them individual optimizers, um, they will all have their own individual output and won't be affected by each other's shade. Yes. So if you've got snow on one panel, for example, the other nine panels will be yeah fine. Yeah, that's why it's a great question because it it really yeah. needs to be thought about when you're getting a solar system because um, shading it has a, a huge effect mm. on on solar panels. Mm. And if it's something like you've got snow, you know you've got a few trees out the front. Um, that could shade your panels, then you need to think about how you can combat that. Because you know. Absolutely. So the first level is at the panel, the second is at the optimizer. Most people, we'd say, would go for the optimizer um, 
as a general rule, people who have shade would go for optimizers because it's more expensive to do it at the panel level. Yeah, because it's, it's just newer technology, like we were saying before. Yeah. Um, it's made differently. These optimizers, they're cheap, they are cheaper. Um, and I personally think they will give you a better output because even though they are good at individually resisting shade, mm. it still has that negative effect. If it does get shade, it, it brings the whole yeah. panel down. It doesn't treat them individually. So even if you've got great um, uh, shade resistant panels, if one gets shaded and drops efficiency not as much as mm. an entry as level much. panel, yeah. they'll all still drop, yeah. just not as much. Whereas if you have this, the other panels will be completely unaffected. Yeah. So that can be a really way, good way to go. Yep. Um, so this is just your standard, in, uh, when I say just your standard inverter, this is an uh, SMA, one of the best yep. uh, string systems you can get. So a system like this for most people's homes is fine. Um, if you don't have any shade or anything like that, um, you don't need to spend the extra money on getting the individual yeah. optimizers, so to speak. And for, even for these systems, you can add Yeah, SMA's got a, a pretty optimizer. cool little system where you can actually add optimizers to just the panels getting shaded. Yeah. So um, some flexibility there with this particular. So you don't need to brand. spend as much on doing yeah. your whole system, just the parts that may get shade. Yep. But if you're getting snow, like Kerry, you'll probably need to do the whole system. Yeah. If you get shade on your solar panels, uh, consider getting optimizers or shade resistant panels, but probably optimizers. If you get any other questions about solar and batteries, leave them in the comments below this video and we'll answer them for you soon. Thank you, Kerry, for your question. Have a great day.